Welcome back to the Data Professor YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chenin Nanta Senamad, and I'm an associate professor of bioinformatics. On this YouTube channel, we cover about data science concepts and practical tutorials. So if you're into this kind of content, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and combine Panda's data frame. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the Data Professor GitHub and then click on the code and then click on the Python folder. Find pandas, create and combine data frames. Click on that. And then to download into your computer, right click on the raw link, save link as, and then find a suitable location to save your file. Or if you want to use Google Colab, please do so. So click on the GitHub tab panel. And in the location bar, type in data professor. And scroll down to find pandas create and combine data frame. Okay, and then this should load up. Okay, let's begin, shall we? So the first thing that you want to do in this notebook is to import the library that you're going to use. And because today we're talking about pandas data frame, so the library that we're going to import is the pandas library. And we're going to type in import pandas as PD. So click on the play button. Okay, so here is giving us a warning. So we just click on run anyway. And right now it's initializing the notebook. Okay, so the pandas is already imported as PD. So here we're going to create two list variables and the list variables are called actual and predicted. So normally when we want to create machine learning models, we're going to have the actual value, which is the Y. And then we're going to use a set of X variables to predict the Y values. And once we have the predicted Y values, we're going to compare that with the actual. So here we're going to create two variables called actual and predicted. And these two are coming from a linear regression model, which I will show you in the next video, how you can develop linear regression models using the Boston housing data and also the diabetes data set. So let's load up the cell here. And then we're going to look at the data type of the actual variable. And it's going to say list. And the same thing for the predicted variable. It's going to say list. So list is a data type, which is essentially an array of values, meaning that the variable here, predicted and actual, is comprised of many values. And the values are individually separated by a comma. And they are encapsulated or contained within the bracket. Okay, and then the next step is to create the pandas data frame from these two lists. So the first data frame that we're going to create is going to be called the same thing, but we're just going to differentiate it a bit by adding a capital A. So actual with the small a will then become actual with the big A. And in order to create a pandas data frame, we import pandas as PD dot data frame. And then as argument, we're going to use the actual variable. And so it's going to convert the actual variable here into a pandas data frame. And once it creates a data frame, we're going to call it by typing in the name of the variable. And notice here that the column name is zero because we didn't specify anything. And these are the row names or the index numbers. Okay. And at the bottom, we see that there are 102 rows and one column. And we're going to do the same thing for the predicted variable, where predicted variable will be the argument into the pd.dataframe function, and which we'll use as input to generate the predicted with a capital P data frame. Okay, and similarly, the column name is also zero, and here are the row index numbers. And notice that both of them have the same dimension, 102 rows and one column, because one is the actual value and the other is the predicted value. So in order to add some column names into each of these two data frame, we're going to modify it a little bit by typing in actual, which is the name of the data frame, and then dot columns. And then we're going to assign the value of actual in the single quotation mark, or it could be a double quotation mark and contain within the bracket. And then we're going to call the actual data frame again in order to see the value inside. And when we do that, we're going to see that the column name changes from zero to become actual. 
And similarly, we're going to do the same thing for the predicted data frame. We're going to call it, okay, so we haven't defined it yet. Let's run it. Okay, there you go. So in a similar fashion, we're going to call the predicted data frame and then we're going to use the dot columns and then we're going to assign the name, the new name of the column to be predicted. So it will be changed from zero to predicted. And when we run that, you see that it changes to predicted. Okay, so creating data frames are fairly straightforward. You're going to use the pd.dataframes function and as argument, you're going to put in the name of the variable, which is the list variable, actual and predicted. Okay, so now comes the tricky part. Let's say that you want to combine data frames. You have two data frames and you want to combine them. And you could combine data frames by using the pd.concat function. So the concat function will essentially concatenate or combine two data frames together. And so you have the option of combining the two data frame in a side-by-side -side manner or in a stacking manner, whereby the first data frame will be stacked on top of the second data frame. But in a side-by-side -side manner, the first data frame and the second data frame will be side by side. So you specify that using the axis equals to one for a side by side and axis equals to zero for a vertical stack of the data frame. So the first data frame that we're going to combine is going to be in a side by side manner. Okay, so we're going to define the name of the new data frame to become results equal PD dot concat. And then in parenthesis, we're going to put in the bracket. And within the bracket, we're going to have the first data frame, which is called actual comma, the name of the second data frame, which is called predicted. Okay, and then we have a closing bracket and then comma axis equals to one. So as a recall, when axis equals to one, it means that two data frames will be combined in a side-by-side -side manner. Okay, so let's do that. And so we see that two data frames, one is actual and predicted, they are combined in a side-by-side -side manner. And notice that the dimension is now 102 rows and two columns. Okay, so now let's stack the two data frames vertically, okay? So as I mentioned again, axis will be equal to zero. Okay, and the same argument is within bracket inside the pd.concat function. And within the bracket, we're going to have the name of the first data frame, which is actual, comma, the name of the second data frame, which is predicted, and then a closing bracket, and then comma, axis equals to zero. So which means that the two data frame will be stacked on top of one another. So after we stack two data frames together, the first column will contain values only for the first data frame, while the second column will contain values only for the second data frame. Okay, so how do we combine it? We need to have the same column in order to combine it. So let's say that we create a copy of the actual data frame, and then we're going to assign it to a new data frame called actual2. And now, Actual and actual two will have the same exact data. So the column name will be the same. It is going to be actual. And so now we're going to combine the two data frames, actual and actual two, and axis equals to zero. And notice that after combining it, so let me run this first. And notice that after combining the two data frames, which has the same column name, there are 204 rows and one column. Notice that there are only one columns. And so we see that all of the values are populated properly here. And so as a recap, today we have learned how to create pandas data frame from the list variables. And we have also learned how to rename the column names of the pandas data frame. And then we also learned about how to combine data frames together by side by side or vertically stacking it on top of one another. So knowing how to work with data frame is an essential part of data science. So please play around with this new concept that you have learned, import some data, and play around with it, reshuffle it, combine it together, because the best way to learn data science is by doing data science. And please don't forget to build up your data science portfolio. And if you haven't yet watched the video, please watch the one on the link above. So have fun. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.